Hey everybody, it's Brad once again from Ellicott City Sovac, uh, and today I'm going to be showing you something that's very exciting for owners of multi-needle machines. There's a new cap frame out and it is awesome. It is not only easier to use than the previous cap frame, uh, but it also can get your embroidery much closer to the brim and it is much, much easier to hoop a flat brimmed cap with it. Uh, so I'm going to be taking it out of the box today. We're going to put it on my machine. Uh, this is the brand new Baby Lock Venture, uh, but this cap frame is not limited to just the Venture. Uh, this will fit on any 10 needle machine that's ever been made. So that would be the Enterprise, the Valiant, and the Venture. Uh, it will also fit the Intrepid and other six needle machines. Basically, if you have a six needle baby lock machine and the screen is oriented this way, uh, then it is going to fit. Um, the ones that it wouldn't work with would be ones that have the screen going horizontal. But if you've got a screen that looks like this, it's going to fit that machine. Uh, so that's super awesome. Uh, let's break into the box and take a look at what you get in this new frame set. All right, so we have, of course, got the standard tools that you get with a, uh, a baby lock cap frame. There's this thing, which is new. We never had one of these before. This actually uh, protects the brim if it is rubbing against the underside of the machine. Uh, so that is cool. And then inside here we have our three pieces. We've got the cap frame itself, which is this piece here. So this is the cap frame itself, and this looks vastly different than anything we've ever worked with before. This guy right here, this is where the magic is, okay? And then we've got the cap frame driver. This is the piece that attaches to the machine, and I'm going to show you how this goes on and some tips and tricks on uh, how to deal with this guy. And we've got our mounting jig, and this is what allows us to uh, get the hat into the cap frame. Uh, so those are the three pieces that are inside the box, uh, and let me show you how they work. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my cap frame mounting jig here, and I'm going to attach it to the part on my stand that's made uh, to hold the cap frame mounting jig. So if you've got the white stand like this, uh, that's going to be this little piece here. If you've got the gray metal stands, that's this piece. I'm going to put it on my uh, white stand right here, and you just turn the little screw at the bottom to lock this on. This will also attach to any kind of shelf or whatever flat thing you want to put it on. So this is uh, what we load the cap frame itself into. So here's our cap frame, and then before we put a hat anywhere close to this, we have to get this attached to this thing. Now this is very easy to get lined up. Uh, you're just going to put this on like this, and then once it's on here and lined up, you just push straight forward and it'll just click into place. Now what we're going to want to do is get this piece out, and if yours won't come out, let me show you what's right under here. There's a little knob that we have to uh, make sure is set to the unlock position. All right, so looking uh, at the underside of the cap frame driver, we can see that this switch is from unlock to lock. We want to make sure that it's in the unlock position so that we can pull this out. So what this is going to do, this is what's actually going to hold the, the cap in. Um, and before we get a hat over here, we are going to want to put some stabilizer in place. Now, depending on what type of hat you're using is going to be what type of stabilizer you use. Um, but if you have a hat with some structure to it, such as... This hat here, it's got this little bit of structure in there, then all you're going to need is some tearaway, but you will need some sort of stabilizer, um, even if it has this structure. You still need to put stabilizer in. Um, three and a half inches uh, or so wide is, uh, is all you need, or four. Um, and what you do is you take the stabilizer, you're going to slide it under these little parts that it can slide under here, like so. And then there's spikes built into the hoop that will tear through the tearaway and hold the stabilizer in place, just like this. All right. So what we want to do now is we want to take our hat, uh, make sure that we have the sweat band flipped out a little bit like this. Okay. And take this piece here with the pointy ones facing towards you and you're gonna put it over the brim of the cap and you kind of bend the, the ends of the cap so that this piece goes into the seam all the way across the cap, okay? So I've got that all the way to the end there. Now if your hat opens at the back, open it up. It does make it a little bit easier. I'm just making sure that I've still got my sweatband flipped out 
and I'm going to bring this over the hat hoop and the ends of this thing just have a little groove that they drop into down here and you get it kind of lined up. Now what I'm looking at to line up my hat is I want to have this center line on the ring lined up with the center line on the hat. Well, my hand's in the way there, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, and then you also are going to need to have the, uh, the lock under here needs to be set in the lock position. So if you hadn't already done that, that needs to be done. And once you've got it lined up, all you do is push straight down. Okay, now if I wasn't explaining how to do this, I would have had that done <laughs> much quicker. So let me go ahead and do one real quick without uh, explaining everything that I'm doing so you can see kind of how quick this can go. So I take my hat, I stick my stabilizer in place, and you can actually put it right under here too if you're feeling bold. A lot of times that's what I do. I don't bother putting it on the top. I just slide it right under like this. And then we're gonna take our cap, get it lined up, with our brim holder. We make sure that our lock is in the lock position and we put the two pieces in and I'm gonna just press straight down and that's it. This is ready to take and put on the machine if I have my cap frame driver on. This just pulls off just like this and this would be ready to load onto the cap frame driver. So let me show you how to put the cap frame driver on your, on your machine. And then we'll actually sew on this hat. All right, so here I have my cap frame driver. I'm ready to put it on the machine. Now there's a thing that you can do that's a mistake that is very easy to do, okay? And what that is, is not taking out these two screws here, okay? So to put this on, you have to take the, uh, the frame carrier off of the multi-needle. And when you do that, you take this thing off with this screw and this screw, these, these smaller screws come off of here. And then what you will have is you'll have these two screws right in your hands. And it's very tempting to take your frame carrier and put it aside and then want to go and use these screws you just took out of the frame carrier to attach the cap frame driver to the machine. You don't want to do that. Because if you do that, uh, then you won't have taken these ones out and the machine will make a terrible sound when you turn it on. So the safe way to do this is to just take these screws screw them in to these spots here and here. This is what they're designed for. You take these and just screw them in like that. And like that. And if you do that, then you have no choice. You have no choice but to unscrew these two screws and then use them to attach it to the machine. And These two screws keep this from being able to move around. So if you put it on the machine with those screws on there, it's gonna to try to move the cap frame uh, and then when it can't, it makes a terrible sound. Ask me how I know. I've done it many, many times. I make the bad sound so you don't have to. Now while you're at it, underneath it here, you got a screw here and a screw here. You just want to loosen those up, but don't take them out. Okay, and we're going to take this piece and it just slides right on. There's really only one way for it to go. It attaches just the way the, um, the frame carrier does. You just screw these screws back in. And only ever thumb tight. You never need to, to really crank down on, on these screws. Um, they're made for you to just finger tighten these. They, they don't ever need to be screwdrivered. So once this thing is on here, then we're ready pretty much to put a hat on this and, and embroider. Um, so if we, uh, if we do anything on the screen, it's going to immediately calibrate this. So I just touch anything, it goes and calibrates it. Now, if it was going to make the bad noise, if I had done it wrong, um, then it would have made the bad noise right then. Um, and, uh, oh yeah, the other thing, the thing I forgot to show you, you also want to tighten these screws down the bottom also. There's screws underneath. The ones I had you loosened before, they, they want to be tightened up too. Keeps it from banging around. There we go. All right, so everything's all tightened up. Uh, so let's go up to our screen here and see what we're gonna, what we're gonna embroider on this hat. Oh, I guess we should put the cap on the, uh, on the cap frame driver before I move on to that. Let's do that. It's real easy. So here I've got my cap. From, I just pulled it off of the, uh, the mounting jig. And all you have to do is rotate it on. It just rotates like this. And 
and then it just pushes straight on here just the same way that it did on the mounting jig. All right, so that's on there. Now, if we're working with a 10 needle, uh, we have some benefits uh, because we can use the camera to see where our design's gonna end up falling on here. Uh, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, we'll pick a font here. We'll type in whatever we wanna say. Uh, say baby lock. Baby lock, right? Perfect. Set. Now, as soon as I get out of my edit screen here, it's going to know that I got the hat hoop on and it's going to flip it upside down for me. Very, very handy. Uh, all the multi needles will do that no matter which one you're using. Uh, but if I have the 10 needle, then I can turn this camera button on here and actually see a live action shot of what my stitches are or where my stitches are going to be lined up. So if we go in, we'll take a closer look at that. We can see where the center line on my hat is. Really, really convenient for doing this, for, for making sure you got it lined up the way you want it. And I can move my design now a little bit at a time to make sure that I have it lined up exactly where I want it. Now that's actually pretty much dead on uh, to, uh, to where I wanted that to be. So we're already, we're already in good shape, but that can really save the day um, when you're trying to, to make sure that the, the design is going to be just where uh, you think it's going to be. So essentially, that's it. We're ready to start embroidering. Now I'm going to take this and move my letters as close to the brim as I can because that's how I like it to be. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and uh, let this embroider. You can watch it go. All right, so while this is sewn out, I'm gonna answer some what I think will be the more common questions uh, that I'll get from uh, from this video. Um, so you cannot just buy the cap frame and use your existing driver and uh, mounting jig because they are different. Um, so there's no way to do that. Uh, you will need the entire set of all three, um, and. Uh, that is, you know, it's unfortunate that you can't use your existing mounting jig and stuff like that, but uh, I mean, it's seriously worth it. <laughs> this, this thing is so much easier. Um, also, uh, I did forget to put the clips on, so if you're if you're used to um, uh, using the, the normal cap frame, um, it does come with these little binder clips, and this one does too, although it only has two of them because it doesn't need as much support. Um, I tend not to use the clips uh, on hats, anyway, uh, which is why I forgot to do it in this video. But yes, it does come with the clips uh, and you are supposed to clip these little binder clips to the hat to, to pull it tight. Um, I find that it's really only necessary if you have a hat that doesn't have very good structure. Um, and speaking of that, if you have a hat that doesn't have a uh, structure to it, then um, you know, you do need to use like a cutaway stabilizer or if you've got a stretchy hat or something like that, the stabilizer needs to be cut away instead of tear away. Um, and, uh, oh, so it is not a wide cap frame. So you only have like five and a half ish inches wide. You can only do the front of the hat. It does not replace the, uh, the wide cap frame. Um, so, uh, so, you know, it, it's just for the fronts, but if you're doing the front of a hat, it's, it's just so much faster. All right. So anyway, uh, it's about done this design here. So I'm going to shut up and you can watch the rest of the video. Okay, well, as you can see, my hat is done. Uh, I'm going to take it off of the uh, the machine, and all you have to do to do that is just literally just grab it and pull straight back, and it will unsnap. Okay, it's not like uh, on the older cap frame you had to use your thumbs to roll the little rollers off. This will just pop right off. You rotate it to get it out of here, and the way that I like to take the hat off is by putting the cap frame back on the mounting jig, uh, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so we're back at our mounting jig. We just push this straight on here, uh, and then we reach under and we'll unlock the, the ratcheting mechanism in here and pull the, the frame out. There we go. There's our hat. Came out beautifully. Uh, that is as easy as it gets. Now, I've done 
a lot of hats with the original hat hoops. Uh, both the, the standard cap frame, the advanced cap frame, the wide cap frame, and this beats them hands down. It is so much easier to hoop. Now, you cannot embroider on the side of the hat like you can with the wide cap frame set, so if you need to do that, you'll still need a wide cap frame. But for doing the front of hats, I mean, you cannot beat this thing. It is so easy to get it in. Not only is it easier, it's actually better, uh, for uh, a couple of reasons. So one reason is uh, flat brim hats like this uh, snapback. This is a very popular style of hat um, and it's really hard to hoop a hat like this. But with, with this, it's not hard. Now, this one is one that, uh, that I, I messed up on. Um, so I just, I have it just as kind of like an example hat. Uh, but I'm gonna show you how I can, how easily I can get this into the hoop here. So we do the same thing that we did before where we put the, we put the ratchet thing on and just kind of curve it and hold it so that we're holding the teeth into the seam. Now we're going to hold all this together just like we would with the oven, but you kind of have to be a little more uh, kind of hands-on with this and, and force everything to stay in place when you're doing this. And we drop it down into the, the ratcheting mechanism. You got to make sure that you have this uh, on the lock position. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and make sure that this all stays as straight as I can. We're going to push down and I have got this thing hooped up. This, this can go right on the machine. No trouble at all. Not only that, but I can actually get the embroidery closer to the brim uh, than I can with the standard cap frame. Um, so let me, let me show you how that, uh, how that looks. All right, so I've got my uh, I've got this hat on the um, the cap frame, and you can see. So the bottom of where this design is now, this represents as far down as I could possibly have gotten uh, the embroidery on this. And take a look over at what my camera on my machine is showing. I've got it up. I've got a design, just a capital letter A, moved as far down as I can get. Look how much closer to the brim that is. That is the number one complaint that I hear about the cap frames is that you can't get the embroidery close enough to the brim. Well, this solves that problem. Um, it is so, so much better, both, be, both for ease of hooping and because we can get the embroidery closer to the brim, uh, which that's what everybody that's what everybody asks me uh, when when I'm giving them lessons on how to do this can I get the embroidery closer uh, to the brim and now yes you can it is uh, very exciting very exciting now of course because this is going on the internet I can't tell you what the price is uh, but just call the store and we'll tell you uh, of course if you're not one of our uh, local customers you have to call your own local dealer um, we are running a special introductory price on this right now though uh, so uh, you know you can get a good deal um, and uh, yeah, if you've got a multi needle and you make hats, you need this hat. You need this hoop. <laughs> it's, I'm just straight up. I, I normally wouldn't say that like you definitely need one of these kind of things that that we sell here. Um, but I mean, there's just it's just so much better. Uh, it's so much better for making hats. If you make any hats, this this is required buy right here for sure. Um, so uh, I hope that you enjoy this video, um, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.